Hi, this is Rajesh and uh, we have started this journey where we are learning Service Cloud, right? This is I think third or fourth video where uh, this video I'm going to show you how Salesforce is handling the service level agreement part. Service level agreement, uh, let me tell you what is basically service level agreement. Service level agreement is basically let's say I'm an agent, I have received a case and, I, and my business said that the case, the moment the case gets created, it should be new status. The moment the case get assigned to me through this omni channel, it become assigned status. And the moment I open the case or maybe I send an email, it become in progress. This is what we have discussed in the last uh, two, three videos. This video will see something called milestone and SLA. Milestone or SLA, it means basically business said that whenever the case has been assigned to the agent, after the assignment is done, next, let's say two hours, 24 hours, 72 hours, or n hours okay uh, within this period of time the case supposed to go to this in progress or within this period of time the case supposed to be resolved this status has to be resolved if it is not happening then the case should be escalated escalation means the owner whoever is the case owner the case on let's say let me change the case owner from case agent to myself okay how can i change i just can go here and change to rajesh Okay, now this is the case owner. Okay, see, so so the case owner has a manager definitely, right? So in Salesforce, there's a process where we can assign a manager for this particular case agent, right? So escalation means the SLA, whenever the SLA has been breached, what is SLA? SLA is, let's say, within two hours, the case has to be resolved. Within 72 hours, the case has to be resolved. If let's say the 72 hours is been completed, then that means the milestone has been breached. So if you see here, right, this is something called milestone. This milestone, this is actually a little old case I just have opened to show you the demonstration, okay? So, you know, you can set up a milestone for each and every stages. That's what I'm trying to say. Salesforce has something called entitlement process and milestone through which you can actually, uh, you know, configure SLAs for each and every stage. For an example, let's say, uh, you know, assign stage that could be for maximum two hours. When it goes to in progress, it could be for maximum five hours. When it goes to, if it is not going to resolve within five hours, then it's supposed to be escalated if the milestone breach. So we have something called entitlement and milestone where we create this milestone for assign assign status one milestone that is called let's say first response to the customer whenever the agent received the case the first response like hi customer we have received the email supposed to go within let's say some pe period of time if that is not happening that means this milestone has been breached and whenever this milestone is breached right a case can be escalated. What do you mean by case can be escalated? We can basically perform some automation whenever this particular time has been breached. Like, you know, we can either send an email to the uh, agent manager or we can change the status to escalated. Whatever automation we want, we can actually perform in case if the milestone has been completed and the, uh, you know, the task has not been performed. Okay. So the use of this milestone is basically for each and every status, we can create a milestone like first response within two hours, in progress to uh, resolve within five hours. So for each stage, we can create a milestone. And if that task is not being done within this milestone period of time, then this milestone will be breached and we can perform some automation. When you say automation, it means either we can escalate, we can send an escalation email or we can change the status to escalated. Right. And finally, the manager will receive that this particular case has been escalated and they will do the internal process for it. OK, so this particular video, I tried to explain how milestone works. And if you want to see how uh, how to configure the milestone step by step, maybe you can create a separate video where we can. I mean, this video will be a little boring for the people who are not technical. If I start showing you how to configure this milestone, right? So maybe we can create another video where I can show you how to configure this milestone. Again, this is all configuration. Don't need to write code or something to get this milestone process done. This is a out of the box feature provided by Salesforce Service Cloud. All right. So that's it for this video. Next video, we are going to explain the next feature of Service Cloud. See you.